Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars and I have a report on a particular kind of negative astral entity. Uh, I would call it a thief of the third eye point light. That's the name I would give it. Um, they're about as big as a man. Uh, a man would be a man about uh, six feet tall, five or six. And uh, their, but their energy field is denser than that of a man on the astral plane. And um, they have an ability, they have an attraction to the third eye point light of human beings on the astral plane. They want it for themselves. They want to take it away from us and they want to get it for themselves. You know, there are beings of different kinds on the astral plane and amongst the the beings that are negatively aspected, there are those that are relatively dark and those that are relatively light. <clears throat> those that are light sometimes steal light from other beings. And so when we say prayers, we make a distinction between the beings of light and the beings of light and love, or light and Christed love, you see. Because the type of beings we want to have around us that can nourish our physical and subtle bodies and help us align with God are the beings of Christed love and light, say. Okay, or light and Christed love. So anyway, getting back to this being, the thief of the third eye point light, right? Uh, there was one hovering, they come and pester me sometimes. Because people who do kundalini yoga develop uh, a, a reasonably strong third eye point light along with the light of the other chakras. And so uh, they come and they are attracted to the light and lots of different kinds of beings are, but this particular being is a bother. So it was around, hanging around last night. Uh, it, they t t tend to come around at night when I'm tired, you know, and when my um, energy field is a little lower. So that's something to look out for is to enjoy life and have uh, a nice relaxed time in the evenings when we're tired so as to prevent these types of negative astral entities from coming around. Anyway, it was coming around insistently last night um, while I was working on the computer and um, it was around my head here like this and above my head and I thought about someone else uh, who who, you know, there are people on earth who have the malware that they're frightened of the third eye point light of other people. And, and so they're in alignment because of this superstition of the evil eye that some country folk have. They're in alignment with the, um, with the mission of these thieves of the third eye point light. So these people can be used by those thieves to to help steal the light of other of other human beings perceived by the superstitious human beings as being a threat to them when in fact they are not the third eye point light is merely the light of a strongly functioning pituitary gland and also the light that helps us see the door be amongst the various multi-dimensional and multi-temporal worlds so it's not a threat to other people unless it's negatively aspected. And it's not negatively aspected unless we're in poor health or our kundalini is not properly aligned. We're not doing the right kind of stretching and yoga and joyful participation in this third dimensional reality. And, uh, and or um, someone is attacking us. Someone superstitious about the third eye point. Someone who thinks that 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 that, it, that we have the evil eye or that they're fearful of our third eye point can join up with one of the thieves of the third eye point energy and, and, uh, and attack us. And so then things happen to our third eye point so that we have to keep doing our yoga over and over again and all the other practices that are important for a healthy energy field, a healthy aura. Anyway, getting back to the topic, last night I thought of someone who had this notion that uh, that he that he was afraid of, especially women's third eye points. He thought they were the evil eye. And the minute I thought about that person, this being that was like hunched and crouched over me, trying to get at my third eye point, which is a bother, um, leaped off of me and 
and sprang through the air for a long way, you know, hundreds of miles to this other person. All in a trice, all in an instant. The energy that I, I gathered from that person was like a, a movie that I read, saw one, a time or two. I think it's called The Time Machine. And it had to do, it started in, in um, not in this century, in a prior century. It has to do with a guy that made a time machine and he was hoping to, to get back to the lady that he loved who had passed on, I think. And, and he made a mistake and he went back. He went forward in time like, oh, you know, way, way forward in time to a time when there had been a catastrophic explosion of the moon and uh, it had changed the population and um, animal life and everything on Earth. And there were three different, all the sentient life mostly was uh, three different species of specialized task it was like almost different races of human beings. One that was like, um, sort of like cows or cattle, and another that preyed upon the cows or cattle. And then there was an, like an overlord or overseer with a really strong third eye point. <laughs> and so, um, actually, I saw some, something in that movie it made me watch it a time or two. And um, especially the people, the people that were so docile and easily caught and um, marauded and uh, eaten by these, this predatory race of uh, what was once human. Um, and the, the third eye point overlord uh, have some bearing on the current reality, I feel. And now, since that experience last night, I have a couple things to say about the movie. Um, the predators in that movie were, um, they had this immense leaping ability. They could just leap giant leaps, you know. They were very, very strong, very, very fierce. And they, they lacked uh, like a human feeling, a heartfelt feeling. And the being that jumped off of me last night had a similar predatory springing ability, a strength like about him. And um, also had some of the cunning of the third eye point overseer, overlord guy uh, in the movie. But he was not a controller. It was more like a medium range uh, astral entity of the negative astral entity series, you know? So, so anyway, uh, I, I do notice quite a bit um, attempts, spells, and so forth to, to dumb down my third eye point or to injure it. And I came up with um, a prayer today and a blessing for the third eye point that I think would be good for, for everybody as they begin to develop the sensitivity to that and to understand the importance of keeping the third eye point clear. It would be good uh, for, for everyone to know about this blessing or maybe to devise one of their own. It's a very simple blessing and, and it goes like this. May my celestial ascension team protect my third eye point energy now and forever from all but beings of Christed love and light. 